guys, what's up? It's me, Kevin. Uh, just here to do my uh, Spectra trailer review, Jeans Bond. Like I said, I would do it. Um, I do apologize. I know I said I would have this up yesterday. And unfortunately, I got hooked up on doing some lesson planning and stuff for other stuff. My life guarding. And I had to put this off. But I have not seen the trailer yet. And I'm here to watch it. And I'll give you my reactions and my review right after. Here we go. <laughs> Forensics finally released this. What is it? Personal effects they recovered from Skyfall. You've got a secret. Something you can't tell anyone. Because you don't trust anyone. Hmm. I always knew death would wear a familiar face. What's yours? I was at a meeting recently and your name came up. I'm flattered London was still talking about me. It wasn't MI6. Ooh, ooh, Spectre. You're on a kite, dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Welcome, James. Oh, I know that it's voice. Been a long time. It's Christi Christopher Walken. Finally, here we are. Do 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 do. Guys, the first thing I have to say about this trailer. Being I've just seen it, it seems like I'm I'm so happy in first place um that they're finally starting to connect uh, the Bond movies franchise. Like obviously in the past, a lot of Bond films have been separated where there's also there's only been like one villain per film and they get defeated. That's it. Where it, like this point out forward with Daniel Craig, uh, James Bond we were going to start seeing a crossover of villains from movie to movie. Like, obviously, I believe, personally, that this organization of Spectra has been around since uh, Casino Royale, the very first Bond film that had uh, Daniel Craig in. I really believe that this was the organization behind what happened with the events of Casino Royale, the, the, what happened with Quantum of Solace, that they were the people behind the curtain that were never seen. They were kind of mentioned... Um, there was like a organization, but they never knew um, who they were and what they were. It was just kind of a hint, hint um, to each movie. And then in Skyfall, it they kind of obviously they don't take that route. They go the route of all James Bond's um, background, who he is, his parents, and kind of dips into an area of his history that we've obviously never seen before. Which I'm really happy. Um, I think a lot of times um, directors have not gone that route because that's a route that you know it has to end at some point but with this we'll have to see like they've hinted this organization um for several films and then at this point we're skyfall i am happy to see they're starting to reference other films like in the time of sean connery and those kind of movies sean connery pierce brosman um, there was no reference to the last film. There was no huge connection between the films, like a franchise, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a sense, where now they're starting to hint at a connection to, to each film, organization has worked worked its way through each film of James Bond, and has finally come into light, which will be Spectra um, in this upcoming film. So I'm really happy that they're finally kind of doing this, like this kind of con continuity sense of a word, where they're actually connecting the films in some some sense, which is good, cause I you know I, I like the old ones, uh, old James Bond with Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan and those guys, but a lot of a lot of those films were just one villain movies. They only had one villain, that's it. They'd be in the, they'd, they'd be the next film, and then there'd be a new villain. Where in these uh, these new incarnations of the James Bond universe. There is, there has been always been that organization behind the curtains 
you know, kind of turning the knobs, doing stuff um, like like the events of Quantum of Solace and uh, and Casino Royale. That there was some kind of organization, like I said, that was behind everything of those movies that we never openly saw who was ahead of them. Like we would see certain figures, obviously the villains that would have to be in those films, um, be in those films, but. There was no... Like, Mr. White, the character of Mr. White. We've seen him now. We're going to see him a third time. We saw him in uh, uh, Casino Royale. I believe we saw Mr. White. We saw him in Quantum of Solace. We saw him. And now we're going to see him again. The same character that's, that is connected to an organization. Now that we know probably as Spectra. So there is a continuity thing. there Where they're finally connecting the films to one particular organization. So... I'm really happy that they're doing this. Um, it is obviously kind of risky because, you know, this could be like the whole Thanos villain where, you know, eventually they will defeat him and then defeat the organization and then there'll, there'll be nothing after. So hopefully they, they've planned things out at least a few years in the years in head. Like they've always kind of done that with James Bond films where they've always, you know, if they plan a film for 2012, they have it out for 2012. But then they say, you know, you're not going to have one out for at least early 2015 or whatever. You know, it's going to be a couple of years. Like, it's not going to be like every year, like every year, like an MCU, uh, Marvel, Cinem Marvel Cinematic Universe kind of film. Where they take their time to build each film because they have to be good films. So, like, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. And this film seems to be going a lot, like, just like just like the last film, Skyfall. Things are much getting much grittier, more and more stuff like really down to the the wire in a sense where you really don't know where things will head in each film and it seems so real and and I keep seeing gritty and and you can feel it kind of thing where it really sets the bar sets the tension of the film I guess this teaser did that for me personally it really set the bar and seeing what's gonna happen with Spectra and James Bond and and this history um, between James Bond and this organization and his parents or whatever this might be but it's really cool like I said that they referenced uh, uh, Skyfall in the in the in the in this teaser just because they're finally connecting the films like I said so I'm probably going in circles but and hopefully you'll get what I mean and that you're just as happy as I am that they're finally connecting these films because it was awesome to have one vi one villain standoffs in each film, but there was no, no there was no nothing you know that's gonna lead into the next film. Where oh, there's always gonna be that one villain, that one villain, that one villain. But just I guess I'm gonna make another metaphor here that metaphor here that in Guardians of the Galaxy there was Ronan. He was the bad guy of that film, but the real guy that is gonna be a bad guy to everybody is Thanos. He was introduced in that film. It kind of overdone Ronan a bit because it's always good to have the villain, but we knew Thanos was gonna be the villain for everybody. So just like that, it was good that they threw they did that in each Bond film with Daniel Craig, where there, there was always that bad guy who's always gonna be there, but we also knew that there was something bigger behind him that we never knew was there, or we knew was there but was never like just like Dracula, it never really you know uncovered itself uh, to be seen for him or the world. So. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my review and my kind of my thoughts about this teaser. Um, like I said, I do apologize. I've been trying to get more videos up, but it's just very hard for me uh, right now because I've been very busy making stuff up, making lesson plans. Like I said, because I'm going out, going up for my water or my lifeguard instructor uh, training, so it, it it takes a little bit, quite a bit of my time. But I do very much enjoy enjoy making these videos, and I'm hoping be making more once I'm done this in a few days actually so yeah and also like, I'm looking forward to, to Avengers Age of Ultron that's coming out in a couple of weeks um yeah it's just yeah but a month give or take uh be that Fantastic Four reboot Ant-Man uh Jurassic World and then fa oh yeah Fast and Furious I'm gonna be, gonna be probably be gonna be seeing it Thursday night midnight screening if I don't see it then I'll see it the next night and then I'll have my review my review up by the weekend for 100% sure there shouldn't be any reasons reasons of this I, I shouldn't have it up because uh, I'm pretty much done my my lifeguard instructing by Thursday so I hope you guys very much enjoyed this video I'm basically uploading this at like two o'clock in the morning because I just finished my lesson plans but I wanted to give you my my personal review because I care very much 
uh, but give, you know, giving good input to others, and you know, I never know. You might have liked my input, and you might not have liked it. You know, everything's subjective. So, hope you guys have a very good night. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, and yeah, peace out.